in good working condition. You want to make sure that thing is right, which means you got to look underneath the hood. If you're looking for flood damage, you're going to have to look inside the car too. And think about this, you actually got to look at the trunk. This may be the most important part. Now this is Frank Myers Automax. Tracy Myers is the owner here. He says you're not going to see any of the damaged cars from Hurricane Sandy around here. But he knows you might see them elsewhere. So he's got some tips for you to make sure uh, that you don't get, some, uh, get messed over. If we get that car, we're not going to sell it. We advise any consumer to never buy a flood car. Tracy Myers knows cars. He also knows flooded out vehicles from the Northeast are here in North Carolina, and he's worried. They're very dangerous cars, so it's definitely something that the consumer needs to be up on the lookout for. How can you look out for yourself if you're buying from a dealer or individual who's not totally up front? First, take a look inside for water lines. If for some reason the back seat doesn't completely match the front seats, you really want to ask why. Also, check for rusty bolts and mismatched equipment. And next, the trunk. We've all left our windows down and had rain come in the car, but nobody leaves their trunk open when it's raining. If it's rusted for any reason, you really want to question why that much water was in the trunk of the car. And of course, look under the hood. So if you see any contacts or any fuses that have any rust or corrosion on them, you, that is a real big red flag. But there are also things you don't see. There's no way to completely dry out all the electronics and things of the vehicle, particularly the, the onboard, onboard computers and things of that nature. So even if it looks good, get a Carfax or an auto check vehicle history report where you can see if it's a flood car. So I think any reputable dealer should supply these at no charge to the consumer. Finally, get it inspected by your own mechanic before buying. If you do all those things right and you still end up with a flood car, it's more than likely because someone in that chain lied to you. And in North Carolina, that's a misdemeanor. It's actually a charge of failing to, dis uh, excuse me, failing to disclose damage to a vehicle. You also have the right to sue uh, for civil penalties after that if you find out that that's the case. Reporting live in Winston-Salem, Mitch Carr, Fox 8 News. The North Carolina Democratic Party can